oftentimes the kindest and wisest thing that we can do for ourselves is to bring ourselves fully present in the moment, in the here and now, fully embodied in what is happening right here and right now. This is true when we find ourselves worrying about the uncertainty of the future or when we find ourselves preoccupied with events of the past. When we are going about our daily lives and we notice our mind wandering and building with anxiety over things that we have no control over or we have no knowledge of, we can say to ourselves, I am right here, I am right now. Right now, I am making a video. Right now, I am sweeping the floor. Right now, I am doing the dishes. Right now, I am on the computer. And when you need to tell yourself right now, when you need to make a right now statement to yourself, to bring yourself fully to the present, you can then turn your attention to your senses and practice mindfulness through your sensory awareness to assist you with being fully in this moment, fully in this present time. There are some ways that we can practice being fully embodied with our senses and being fully present. And we can do this through the use of some small objects. So I want you to grab anything that you have available to you. It could be a marker, it could be a rock, it could be a bell can be whatever that you have handy. And I want you to hold an item in your left hand and then touch it with your right hand. And I want you to practice being fully present in that touch. Feel the surface of your object. For instance, this is a grounding rock which I often use. And usually it feels very smooth to me compared to other rocks, it is very smooth. But as I am fully present and touching it in a mindful way and really focusing all of my attention on the feeling of this, I notice that it's rougher than I usually am aware. It actually has a lot of subtle roughness, a lot of subtle indentations and even little holes in the surface that I usually don't notice. Be fully present with the way that it feels against your hands and you can roll it around and really focus all of your energy on your sensation of touch. And then you can go through your senses and practice this exercise. Really spend some time looking in a new way. How does this look to you? Usually I would perceive that this is black and now I see it more as a slate gray with specks of midnight blue and a lot more crystals than I'm usually aware of. It's much sparklier than I usually notice on a daily basis. And now I'm able to be fully present with my touch and with my sight. You can use your sense of smell. And I've never smelled this, probably. And it barely has any kind of rock smell. There's a real slight minerality to it. It smells like the oils that I put on my hands. <laughs> and you can even use your sense of hearing if it's applicable. You can use your sense of taste if it's applicable. Right, so I have my bell if I wanted to use my sense of hearing. Really focus all of your sensations, focus all of your concentration on hearing. It's much more high-pitched than I think I would anticipate. It's a very, very tinny kind of sound rather than something you would expect to come from brass. 
And if you want to focus on all of your senses at once, you can do that as well. And you don't have to practice with an object, right? So you can sit and you can say to yourself, what am I feeling in my tactile sensations now? Or what does my body feel like now? What are the physical sensations in my body? What are the sounds that I'm hearing in my environment? What is the taste in my mouth? What is it that I can see? What colors stand out to me the most? What light stands out to me the most? And really just practice going through your senses and seeing what is available to me right now in the here and now through my sensory perception. And if you have a drink or some food, then you can practice your taste. You can practice the feel of the substance in your mouth. You can practice this exercise when you're doing a daily chore, um, when you're going about your normal activities. You can practice this at any time in order to bring you back to the here and now in the present moment, becoming embodied in your feelings through your physical embodiment of your senses, through your tactile senses as well as your other senses. And with this kind of awareness and this kind of presence, you're going to develop a deeper sensitivity that's going to allow you to also further deepen your intuition and further deepen your awareness in many other ways. So this is a useful exercise for bringing you to the present moment in the here and now, where you are now. And it's also very useful for getting you in tune with yourself to deepen your senses, deepen your intuition, and deepen your awareness on many levels. Stay blessed.